Dear Curious Humans, Foam rolling has gained popularity within the last decade and is most commonly used as a recovery tool for attenuating muscle soreness. However, recent research has uncovered another potential benefit of foam rolling that you may be interested in. That is, pre-exercise foam rolling may improve running economy. To understand the context a bit more, let's review the study. They highlight a survey which found that around 55% of endurance runners use foam rolling during their training. This is a very high percentage and demonstrates its widespread use in the running community. However, they also note that there is limited research on the effect of foam rolling on running performance. The general benefits of foam rolling have been studied for some time. Here is a list of some. The researchers therefore wanted to understand whether foam rolling could improve running economy at a self-selected 5km race pace, because this could have important implications to warm-up recommendations for endurance runners. The study was designed to have two testing sessions. In the first test, runners would do a 10-15 to 15 minute jog warm-up and then take part in a running economy test. Here, the researchers would measure oxygen consumption whilst that runner ran at their 5km race pace. In the second test, following 48 hours rest, the runners did exactly the same. However, following the 10-15 to 15 minute warm-up, they did approximately 12 minutes of foam rolling. The foam rolling protocol was very simple. 90 seconds of rolling per muscle on four muscle groups. The hamstrings, calves, quadriceps and glutes. To give you a visual aid, here are what the exercises would have looked like. They are very easy to do and most people could pick up any foam roller and perform these exercises without any training. Once the participant had completed the foam roller, they then took part in the running economy test. And here you can see is what a normal physiological lab would look like, where the runner is running on a treadmill at a specific speed and gradient, whilst they measure oxygen consumption and various other cardiorespiratory parameters. To give some general insight into the type of participants this study recruited, here are their characteristics. And it's safe to say from these characteristics that they are, on average, a group of recreational runners that are middle-aged. And you can see this by their VO2 peak being around 53 millilitres per kilogram per minute, which is above average but nothing exciting. Also look at the training frequency and training distances, you can see that they did train a fair amount, definitely above average, but again nothing close to uh, high level athletes or elite level athletes. Now to understand whether foam rolling had an effect on running performance, all the researchers needed to do was compare the running economy between the test 1 and the test 2 to see if there were any differences. And interestingly they found that foam rolling had a positive effect on running economy by around 3%. And given running economy's relationship with running performance, you could go even further to suggest that these data indicate that running performance would have also been improved should they have measured it. Now, all science comes with limitations given its nature, and it's important to bring these up and acknowledge them so we can interpret the findings with a little bit more critical thought, and also to, to build on this study with more well-controlled studies in the future. The most important limitation was that they didn't randomise the testing order so that there may have been a learning effect which could have improved running economy independent of using the foam roller. There are also several further questions that this study brings up that curious people might be interested in and I've noted down a few that I'd be interested to see future research answer, especially if they can replicate these findings in other laboratories when they do randomise the test order, and whether the benefits of foam rolling are acute or chronic, because this could have implications to whether foam rolling might be useful for 3 to 5 kilometre races, but not that useful for a marathon if the benefits begin to dissipate as the running distance increases. But in conclusion, the authors noted that their data support that foam rolling has a beneficial effect on running economy at a self-selected 5km race pace. But it is of course 
early stages in their research and more research is definitely recommended. So far things are looking good but there is a lot more to be understood. So is this a hidden secret of foam rolling? Well, possibly, but we don't quite know yet. But it's good to be curious, it's good to be interested, and it's good to keep pushing the frontier of what we know about things in life. Let us know about your experiences with foam rolling and your habits, so comment them below and it will be interesting to see what you guys have been up to. But other than that, have an above average day and I'll see you around.